During World War I, a unit of African-American soldiers, mainly from Chicago's Bronzeville neighborhood, were shipped to France to fight for our freedom. It's the untold story of the 370, excuse me, 370th Infantry after 100 years in the dark. Local writer and director Mario Tharp has brought it back to life and created a documentary that airs tomorrow night on WTTW. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. I'm so excited that you're here because I'm obviously preparing for this interview. I didn't know anything about about it. Yeah, How did you find yeah. this story? First off, let me say that I think it's great you all have a DJ to wake people up because <laughs> it is early. Um, yes, it is so, early. you know, to answer your question, uh, you know, I was approached by uh, there's a company, production company here in Chicago, Media Process Group, and uh, they approached me about my interest in doing this film and working with them. Um, and it's just a, a fascinating story that. As I, as I do these interviews, I talk about how people just don't know about the 370th um, and who they are, what they represent, uh, what war they fought through. And, uh, you know, if you poll people, the majority of them <laughs> wouldn't, don't, don't mm -hmm. know what the 370th is. And it's just a group of uh, these amazing men, mainly from Chicago, from the Bronzeville area. Or back during World War I, it was considered the South Side or the Black Belt. Yeah. And, uh, uh, you know, these guys went off and fought during World War I uh, to France and just faced a lot of discrimination, a um, lot of racism. Mm -hmm. and you gotta remember the period uh, that we're talking about. You're saying over there as well as here. Well, absolutely. And that's why the title, Fighting on Both Fronts, because mm. uh, they fought for injustice and discrimination here, and then they also went to France and fought those same things. Uh, but the interesting thing is that they didn't, uh, they didn't fight with the American army. Uh, they fought alongside the French. They fought with the French wow. uh, for a number of reasons, but one of them was, dis was discrimination. Remember, the army was segregated um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. during that period. So, you yeah. know. So you actually were able to find one descendant is the, actually the grandson of William Braddon. That's uh, correct. What was that experience like? And did that person know that they were such a big piece, their family was such a big oh, piece yeah, of history? Oh, yeah, yeah. And we actually located two descendants. Um, one of them didn't have a lot of information, but the second guy did, uh, the second one being William Braddon McClellan. And his grandfather um, was the pastor at uh, Berean Baptist Church here on the south side of Chicago. Oh, wow. And his knowledge is, was just invaluable. He uh, plays a big part in the film, and uh, he is just a smart guy and knows a lot about his, his grandfather's history. Um, and uh, yeah, so it was great to have him as part of this, this film. It's so amazing to connect the past to the present. Mm -hmm. And I, you mentioned some of that in the documentary, just in terms of how Chicago Defender played a role yeah. in history and how right. that's still here today right. in our community, in the Bronzeville community. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, we talk about a lot in this film. Mm -hmm. The film is 30 minutes, and literally the information, it feels like it could be an hour-long film. Yes. But it's good, it's good information that people just don't know about. So absolutely, yeah, we talk about the Great Migration and how Robert Abbott helped to try to encourage uh, blacks to move from the South to, uh, to areas like Chicago and the North. Um, and then how eventually, you know, that led to the race riots, not the Great Migration led to it, but we discussed the race riots mm -hmm, and how 1919 yeah. and how it happened throughout the entire country. But Chicago, we really focused on Chicago's race riots and how a lot of those soldiers were just, uh, once they came back, you know, it kind of, it, it pulled jobs away yeah. uh, from, uh, from, from some of those whites, from the Caucasians or the whites. And it was, uh, you know, it was an opportunity for, not an opportunity, but it was the, the kind of the start of the race yeah. riot. Okay. Well, it, it's been a pleasure speaking with you. I yeah. know we can talk about this for the rest of the morning for sure. It's so much history, and it's our history. It's Chicago history. Yeah. It's our nation's history. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Yeah, Thank thanks. you. Thanks. All right. Well, Fighting on Both Fronts, the story of the 370th, airs on WTTW Friday night at 830. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Fisher.